and welcome back to my channel. I'm sorry it's been a little while, but I really hope this video makes up for it. So today I'm using some products from Raven Cosmetics. I'm using Palm Beach, their Snowdrop Crystal Mix, as well as some of their Caviar Beads. Um, and then I'm also using some of the Water Decals from Print by Example. We all know these are my favourite decals. And these Wednesday Adams decals are insane. We're also going to use some blue green sort of foil for this and it's going to be a gothic -y sort of inspired set um, from the age of about 13 all the way through until about 18 I was a serious like emo goth I will put some photos of what I looked like at, at various stages um, and this set just came together amazingly so if you're a bit of an emo or a goth this is for you we're going to start off by doing two layers of black gel polish across all five of these nail tips. I like this set this much, or so much, I am probably going to do it on myself. Um, it is probably more suited to Halloween, however that being said, you can use that, you can do this set any time of the year. You know when you just do something and it comes together so well, I was like, oh my god I love them. Um, and Wednesday Adams is just who I always wanted to be. Exactly what I wanted to be. Why are we normal when you could be? Adam. Then I'm taking a cotton pad in this little, like, cute little dish and the cotton pad's damp and I'm just going to cut out my water decal. I've done plenty of videos on my water decal um, application. There's a few different methods that you can do. I'm going to do the stamp method and I, my latest video that I uploaded before this one is actually the hack on how you can put these water decals over any colour. It's just a game changer. So I'm just going to cut around Wednesday as close as I possibly can. Now if I don't get all of the text on here but it does say over your dead body which I just think is iconic. Um, but I'm going to take my foil and just sporadically dab it and pull it off on the gel polish tacky layer. I've done this to add some background and dimension to the nail and I'm so glad I did because it just adds a little sum and sum in. Just look how pretty it is. Um, so once my decal is nice and soaked I'm going to pop it on my stamper and just slide my backing paper off. There were a couple of tiny little creases that I'm just going to try and rub out with my finger but don't worry if you don't get rid of them completely you're barely going to see them when we do the next bit. So as you can see, it is very, very pale. If you turn it upside down, you can only just about see it. So if we were to put that straight over the nail, you wouldn't see it at all. So I'm gonna take some white stamping polish and a really fine detailer brush, and I'm just gonna pop some of the stamping polish on the middle of the decal that is on the stamper. Now I have two stampers, one for this technique and one for doing actual stamping. I don't like to mix the two up because this one does get a little bit grubbier but I'm not bothered because it is purely for doing the this decal application method. Um, so I'd recommend that if you were doing a, a different type of decal that probably wasn't quite as big or as intricate as this um, then it, it wouldn't take as long, you wouldn't need as much stamping polish and you could be way more precise because this had um, so many bits coming off of it, I didn't, I didn't make sure, I didn't go up to every single edge just because I'd have been here for hours if I was being that particular about it. Doesn't matter though because it still comes out absolutely amazing. Like I said, there is a little bit at the bottom of this decal that does say over your dead body. Now, these are huge nail tips I use and I couldn't get the whole thing to fit on there. It's not a bad thing, it doesn't matter um, because you can still see pretty much all the writing it's just the edges that I had to trim trim up but it's fine so as you can see now you can barely see someone obviously holding the stamp in the wrong place there we go um, it is way easier to see the actual design so once your stamping polish has dried we're going to transfer him over to that tacky layer and look how good it is yes there are a couple of creases but we can hide those and as you can see it's pretty much all of the writing on there it's just to cut the edges that don't quite fit when I tell you I am obsessed it is an understatement I absolutely love Wednesday Adams love it 
So what I'm gonna do is after I've transferred that, I'm just gonna do my normal technique, which is to no wipe top coat it and cure it in my lamp. Here it is, so you can, see, you can barely see those creases. And then I'm just gonna take a little 180 buffer and give it a good buff. This is just gonna remove any of those little marks and make it all nice and smooth and then I run a file down those side walls just to get rid of any of that um, excess decal that was overlapping slightly. So the next two tips, again I'm literally just going to take that foil and pop it all over them in sporadic places. These are going to kind of be accent nails but I wanted the colour scheme to be consistent throughout. So it really doesn't have to be perfect, I think the messier this looks the better because as you shift it you get so many different um, like colours in there. So I'm going to take Palm Beach which is a super fine glitter from Raven Cosmetics and I'm just going to use a eyeshadow applicator sponge thing to burnish him into the nail and I don't want this to look perfect. The reason being is we're going to put foils over the top of this and having little sparse areas and the dabbed on foil just adds a lot of dimension which is what we want. So I'm going to do this on both of those tips. Give them a good old dust. Then I'm going to take my Phoenix Glitter Foil Gel and I'm literally scraping off as much as humanly possible because we're going to do the dry brush technique for this. And this is so we get those sort of random bits of foil. So I'm just going to sort of swipe this over the nails and cure it in the lamp. take our foil and just randomly splidge them, splodge them, dab them on. I feel like I'm doing loads of talk in this video. I haven't uploaded in a while because I felt like I completely lost my mojo and I cannot tell you how many sets I've sat and done and thrown in the bin because I don't like them. And then at nine o'clock in the evening this week I pulled this set out of nowhere and I'm just madly in love with it and like I'm so excited I just had to get it edited and uploaded and shared with you um but yeah i just i just haven't liked anything i've done um and i'm now so excited with this i just want to talk through this whole video and i could talk absolute nonsense to you so i really hope you don't mind that but um yeah i'm just i'm just obsessed with this so i completely lost the plot obviously <laughs> once i was done i'm gonna matte top coat these just because we're gonna do some stamping and i want them the matte surface so I can just sort of one see what it looks like matte basically is pretty much the only reason why I matte top coated it um just because I love matte foil and glitter but look how pretty that is shiny holy smokes look at all of the colors the glitter and the foils over the black go so darn well I'm gonna take this Halloween oh look is my my reflection <laughs> Um, I'm going to take this stamping plate and use these spider webs and they just look equally as nice matte. How? Um, I'm going to take white stamping polish, give it a good old scrape and we're going to pop these onto the nail. Now I do something slightly different in this. I also go in with a black and I do some overlapping. I don't quite know why I did that. I wasn't sure whether I wanted white or black so maybe that's why. But I actually quite like how it turned out. Um, so I'm just gonna stamp away. No particular real rhyme nor reason for why I do it this way. Stamping and me don't always get on, but I finally sort of sussed it out. So. I don't think I really knew what I was doing at this point either now I'm looking at this back. I did film this video at about 9, 10 o'clock at night um, on a Monday. So I think I was probably, well, I don't know what I was doing. Anyway, I'm just going to let you watch me do some stamping and I'll be back when I do more fun stuff.
I finished faffing around with stamping. I quite like the messy web look. But we're going to go on and do some gorgeous crystals. So like I said, this is the Snowdrop Mix from Raven Cosmetics. It is so pretty. And we're going to use some of the opal, opal-esque ones. So with my crystal picker up, I'm just going to take, I've lost the plot, I really have. I'm going to take some gem glue and pop them on the outer corner um, of each of these tips. And we are just going to do some crystals in the corner. I like to take a no wipe top coat over where I've put the gem glue and then the rest of the nail. I just can't get over how the foil looks, I really can't, I love foil. Um, and this is just going to make sure all of our crystals are going to be nice and stuck and we're going to have a nice um, smooth surface and the nail is just going to look good. That's basically, basically what we're doing. So even though there are some really pretty green ones, I didn't feel like you would see them over the foil. So what we're doing is we're just taking a big opal one in that middle, then we're taking two smaller silver ones, and then we are going to finish it with opal ones at the edge. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the slate caviar beads, and I am going to encase the crystals like a ring is encased if that makes sense I might just put a photo so you can see what I mean but it's got like it we're gonna it's gonna look like it's got studs either side of it I'm doing a really bad job of explaining this Ugh, I don't know why I can't get my words out but basically you can see what I'm doing I'm placing two caviar beads one on top one at the bottom between every single crystal and I just feel like, one, it cleans up any of that blank negative space, but it also, like I said, it just encases it. I'm, I'm, I'm awful explaining this. But I do this on both of these tips, and then I call them in the lamp. And then to finish them off, we're going to do the final top coat on these three tips. So I'm just going to take a nice even layer of my top coat, and you can just see it brings the design back to life. Now even though I was messing around with black and white um, stamping polish for the spider webs, I actually quite like how it looks and I'm not mad that they're not perfectly even, I wanted that slightly messy-ish look. Um, I cannot wait to top coat and show you Wednesday's nail. It is just magnifique. I love it, I absolutely love how it turned out. So obviously it's all nice and matte now, we're going to make her nice and shiny. Oh, look at it! She looks so good. Oh, I'm obsessed. Honestly it has to be one of my all time favourite sets I've ever done. It just appeals to my dark soul, it really does. So this video, we've obviously learned a little bit about me. I used to be a bit of an emo, a bit of a goth, and I love dark things like this. The Addams Family is one of my all-time favourite films, always will be. Um, yeah, I hope this has been as entertaining for you and you enjoy it as much as I love filming this. Um, but yeah, I'm going to show you what it looked like inside and in outside light because it just picks up the colours gorgeously. As always, please do like and subscribe. All links to products will be in the description box. And I'll see you in the next one.